Hello friends, welcome back to DevOps Scene. In this video, we are going to learn Ansible ad hoc commands. So first of all, why we use ad hoc commands? An ad hoc commands can be used to do simple quick tasks to perform some operations at that command line itself and they are not reusable. For example, if you want to restart your infrastructure server or get operating system information on small and quick tasks, you can use ad hoc commands. So if you want to use ad hoc commands, so you can use the syntax of ad hoc commands. So first of all, Ansible and then, then send the name of your group which you want to execute. So in my, I have already specified in my inventory file group with the name DevOps scene. So that's why uh, I will call the name with uh, DevOps scene in this group name. Then hyphen M. So hyphen M is for module. So there are thousands of module in this Ansible. So which module to use when you want, you can. So go to the official documentation. So there are so many modules, for example, service module, shell module, then hyphen A. So A as an argument. So that's the syntax of ad hoc commands. Then the second thing is test the connection. So before demonstrating the ad hoc commands example, let us first test our connection with Ansible client nodes. So to check my inventory file, you can run the command. So here you can see this is my inventory file, that means host file. And here right now I have only one group with the name DevOps scene. And in my group, there are uh, two client nodes. And now, now we are going to run ad hoc commands in our Ansible server. So now if you want to check the connection, so run the command. You can see a success or success. Now, if you want to run any specific group name. So right now I only one groups DevOps send. So you can see here. Now, if you want to run any, uh, uh, if you want to run any specific group name and if you want to run any specific client node, so, uh, means if you want to check the connection, if any specific client node, so in bracket, you can specify your number, index number. So here, zero. So that's why they give us the result of my first client node. If you run the command, this, so you can see my first client node, uh, IP address 15.20.116.214. So here you can see the IP address. Now if you want to run, if you want to check the connection of second client node, then you can run this command. In bracket, you can specify the index number. So now it's done. Now, now the second is file operations. In this, we will perform some file operations on remote host. That means our Ansible server. So first of all, to check there is any files or directories, you can run this command. So now let's check. DevOps is my group name. And now we are going to check there are any files or not. So in this my first client node, there is no any file. And this is my second client node. There is also in, in uh, there is, no any files. Now clear the screen. Now we are going to create files in my client node. So run this command.
and file name is sample. And now I want to create in my, I want to create in my, this client node. I want to create the file in my, this first client node. So here, here I'm specify my group name and my index number is zero because this is my first client node and the file name is sample. So if you run the ls command here, there is no file. So change. Now let's check. So you can see a sample. Now, if you can run here, the ls command or first clear the screen and now let's check using this command ansible devops int ls so you can see here in my this first client node there is sample file and in my second client node there is no any file so now i want to create in my second uh, second node so here specify the index number one and now I want uh, I want to create a file with the name file double one in my both client nodes. So that's why here I'm specify only my group name and now hit enter. Now change. Now firstly clear the screen and now. I run the command ansible devops hint hyphen als then here you can see in my first client node there is two files file 11 and then sample and this is my second client node there is only one file with the name file double one that we have just created now clear the screen and now let's check the next step now you can say this is the output of client node was first and client node second. Then now copy files across the remote nodes. So first of all, we need to create a file in this uh, server no uh, ser Ansible server. So using touch command. So here I'm creating file with the name demo. So if I run the command alias, here you can see my file name demo. Now we are going to we are going to copy this demo from Ansible server and paste this demo in client one and client second. Now, as of now, there is no any demo files in client one and client second also. That means sorry, node one and say node two also. So there is no any file. Now we are going to copy this demo file from Ansible server and we are going to paste in node one and node two. So first of all, we need to run this command Ansible DevOps int M. So this is the command Ansible DevOps int hyphen M copy hyphen A source. So our file name is demo and this is the destination that uh, we need to paste this file. So destination is slash TMP and then our file name is demo. Now I want to paste this file, copy and paste this file only. This is my first client node. So here I'm specify the index number zero and now hit enter. Now we can see a change. So let's check. So if I run the command alias, there is no file. So we need to inside slash TMP file, then alias, alias hyphen A, sorry, alias hyphen L. So here we can see our file demo. That we have just 
paste here. Now clear the screen. And now if you want to check in our uh, say uh, uh, second client node. So let's check. Now, firstly, you need to insert that slash DMP, then run the command ls hyphen el. So you can see there is no demo file. Now we are going to paste our demo file in our second client node. So first of all, we need to run this command and then we need to specify index number that one. So you can see a change. So let's check. Now run the command alias. So here, here you can see the file name demo. There is no file. Now here you can see the demo file. That means we have successfully copy and paste, copy from Ansible server and paste, uh, sorry, copy to Ansible server and paste from, uh, sorry, paste to no, uh, no client node. Then, now system information. So in this system information, we are going to check operation system, operating systems, IP address and more. So first of all, run the below command to check all about your system. So here you can see, this is the information of our system. So here you can see this is my group name. So in my group name, you can you know the there is two client nodes. Now clear the screen. And now the next is find the operating system. So run the below command to check Ansible operating system family. So here you can see this is our first client node output and this is our second client node output. So this is the Ansible operating system family. So you can check uh, using this command. Then to check memory details to your client node. So you can run the command to check memory details of your client node. If you want to check your first client node, then you can specify the index number. And now if you want to check the second client node, then the first, this is the memory details of our client node. And if you want to check the both client nodes, then you can just specify here your group name. So you can say this is our first client node memory details and this is our second client node memory details. You can see a free and total and all. Now clear the screen and now, now the next step is find high CPU consuming process. To know about the high CPU consuming process, you can use the top command. So let's check. You can see here. You can see here to find uh, the high CPU consuming process. You can use this command to find then find high memory consuming process. So the following command will list down the process with higher memory consumption. So you can use this command to find high memory process. So you can see the details of first client node and second client node. So that's it.
So there are number of ad hoc commands. So you can check the official page and you can use it. So in this video, we have learned Ansible ad hoc commands. So thank you for watching our video. I hope you like the video and it's helpful to you. So please like, share and subscribe our DevOps in channel.